Okay, in today's video, we are taking control of Cristiano Ronaldo's career in a player career mode to try and save this final stage of Cristiano Ronaldo's career. Without this last World Cup win with Messi winning it and also Ronaldo being benched, and then the way he left United for Al Nasser, the man is not doing the best. We're going to try and fix that. Our goal is to play well enough Al Nasser to get Ronaldo back into a European football league, preferably a team that's in the Champions League. And then before Ronaldo retires, we try to get him into the 2026 World Cup for one last chance with Portugal. This is Ronaldo's chance to end his career while he's still on top. So if you enjoy the video, drop a like, hit that sub button as well, and Let's get into it. All right, so we're on January 11th. Ronaldo has just joined Al Nasser in Saudi Arabia. So he joins new teammates Taliska, Luis Gustavo, and also Ospina in goal. Currently the best team in the league only by one point though. So Ronaldo has signed a two-year contract. We've got two years at Al Nasser to try and prove Ronaldo's worth and they could still be a quality player. You try and entice some European teams. Now before we play our first game though, I feel like this team needs one more signing. And it's a player that's recently been linked with a move to Al Nasser. Why not bring Ronaldo's uh, Portuguese uh, hot-headed teammate for him to finish his career? So just like that, Pepe has joined uh, Ronaldo at Al Nasser. Now, this is Ronaldo's team. I imagine we should win the league. I, we should. And also in this video, I want to try to win Ronaldo another Ballon d'Or, even though that sounds like almost impossible. But also with Ronaldo, I believe anything is possible. And yeah, I had these images like uh, AI generated. And honestly, I think they look great. It looks just like Ronaldo. Amazing. That is terrifying. Also, what, what a Ballon d'Or award is that? It's on a ball. Like, I'm so confused on what that is. I mean, come on. Look at this one. Look how small the Ballon d'Or is. And what is with Ronaldo's face? Okay, you know what? That one, that one's not bad. Uh, uh Okay, maybe it is bad. All right, though, it is finally time for Ronaldo's Al Nasser debut. So first game for Ronaldo, honestly, if he plays well in Saudi Arabia, there's got to be some teams, some European teams saying, you know what, we should sign Ronaldo. He can help us. He's got to prove it though in this league. He's got to prove he can still score goals. There might be Ronaldo's first chance to score for his new club. Volley off the crossbar is his first shot. Corner sent in Ronaldo. Ronaldo gets to it. Oh, Ronaldo's first goal is from a corner. And there's the first Sui. I mean, debut goal. That's what we want. We need more though. We need more goals. Ronaldo back into him. Ronaldo chance for a brace and Ronaldo's got a brace. We're going to get uh, a little bit of Sui times two with his new teammate. All right, brace for Ronaldo. I mean, this has gone, this has gone well so far. And he get a hat trick on his debut. Goes for a bicycle kick. Oh, okay. He just went for the spectacular play. Didn't score, but still 2-0 win for Al Nasser. Two goals for Ronaldo. I would call that a solid debut. We're going to need so much more in this league, though, to prove Ronaldo can still play for a top team. Okay, we're at the end of Ronaldo's first season in Saudi Arabia. So Al Nasser, led by Ronaldo, they're going to win the title by, what, 16 points. So that is another league trophy for Ronaldo. But let's see the man's stats. Okay, Ronaldo has popped off. In 19 games, he scored 21 goals in Saudi Arabia. He's tied with Talisca on goals, but he's played almost like half the games. That is insane. Did he win the golden boot? Okay, he came in fifth in the golden boot race. I mean, half a season, that's still amazing. Now, he is down minus three to 87, though. So, we got to try and uh, keep his overall as high as we can. I mean, the man is 38 years old, though. So, won the league title, scored 21 goals in 19 games. That's a solid first season for Ronaldo, but he's got one more year at Al Nasser, one more year left on his contract. All right, now, season two begins. Now, we lost Luis Gustavo, so I feel like we might need another midfielder just to help Ronaldo. We'll help the team a little bit more. And what if we sign Luka Modric to join Ronaldo at Al Nasser? So, Ronaldo and Pepe have a new teammate here in Saudi Arabia in Luka Modric. So he's, of course, starts in the midfield. I mean, this team should go back to back in the league without a doubt. And also, can Ronaldo win the Golden Boot this year? All right, quick stop to see who wins the 2023 Ballon d'Or. The nominees are Holland, Lewandowski, Mbappe, and Mane. Where is Lionel Messi? There's like no doubt he's going to win the next Ballon d'Or. Well, FIFA thinks uh, Holland is going to win the Ballon d'Or in 2023. I mean, he's scoring an insane amount of goals, but I don't think he's winning it over Messi. Can we get Ronaldo to hold another Ballon d'Or? Like I said, we're going to try to. All right, end of season two. As Ronaldo won back to back league titles in Saudi Arabia, he has with Al Nasser on 72 points. So that's two more league trophies for Ronaldo. Okay, Ronaldo has done it again. 32 goals in 36 games. At age 39, he's in the 30 goals mark. Like, that is insane. These are the kind of totals we need to maybe entice some European football team to pick up Ronaldo to give him just one more chance. So his contract at Al Nasser is up. Do we have any offers? All right, despite Ronaldo's efforts for Al Nasser, there's not many teams that are looking to actually sign him. But there is one. The one team that has offered Ronaldo a contract is going to be Newcastle United in the Premier League. Of course, they got the ties to Saudi Arabia. They're the team that wants to give Ronaldo a chance. Now, it's only a one-year contract. He has earned himself one more chance in the Premier League. And with all the goals he scored for Al Nasser, he's kept that rating of 86. So he joins this Newcastle team. Of course, we got Isak. We got Kemavinga in the midfield. I got the solid signing. And then Guimadis is still here. St. Maximin is still here. Like, it's not a bad team. Although, there's one player that I think would improve this team immensely. And I mean, Newcastle are the richest team in the world. So we're going to try to pair up. We're going to try to swap Isak with Kalina Mbappe to pair up with Ronaldo. This is just nuts. 
minutes. But it is so crazy that we've actually done it. Mbappe is joining Ronaldo at uh, Newcastle United. And the two of them, Mbappe and Ronaldo, lead Newcastle maybe to the Prem title. Who knows? They're both going to play up top in a 4-4-2 as strikers. And this could be insane. Also, by the way, this year is also the Euros. But uh, very shockingly, Portugal did not even make the groups of the Euros. We are aiming, though, for that 2026 World Cup with Ronaldo. Okay, it is once again time for Ronaldo's debut for Newcastle United. I mean, how many goals do we think a strike partnership of Ronaldo and Mbappe are going to score this year in the Prem? I'm hoping lots. All right, corner. Ronaldo scored his first goal for own ass from a corner. Can he score again from the Prem? That's going to be cleared. Okay, he's got fouled, and we have a free kick chance. It's going to be Mr. CR7 free kick chance on his Newcastle debut. If he scores this, Ronaldo from the free kick spot on his Premier League. He's back, and he scored a free kick. Five minutes into his Premier League debut again, and he scores a beautiful free kick. Ronaldo is back. Hey, he's back, and he's trying to prove everyone wrong. I mean, the precision and skill is just literally unmatched. That is beautiful. Here we got a crossing chance. It's going to be two. Oh, that's so easy. No one's even marking Mbappe. Ronaldo's first goal and then Mbappe's first goal. Is this how this season is going to go? Hey, we're going to see. Okay, Ronaldo. Ronaldo feeds in Mbappe. Mbappe is going to try and chip the keeper. Oh, he barely gets it on top of the net. Mbappe to Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo, a chance for his brace and he is going to get a brace on his debut again. I'm telling you, the man is back. He's doing suies with Mbappe. And that is how this game ends. 3-1 to Newcastle. This is Ronaldo's chance, his second chance in the Prem to end his career on a high. We'll see what he can do at Newcastle in his first season back in the Prem. All right, now 2024 Ballon d'Or. It is going to be won by his teammate, Kylian Mbappe. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to be able to win Ronaldo another Ballon d'Or. At least his now teammate wins it. All right, so end of season three. Mbappe Ronaldo have led Newcastle to a top five finish. Okay, we are top five at the very least. Did we get top four, which would be huge for Newcastle? They finished eighth the previous season. Fifth is going to be United. Newcastle are in the top four, led by Ronaldo and Mbappe. Fourth is going to be Liverpool. Third, okay, third is going to be Newcastle United. Hey, you know what? Still, what a season for Ronaldo and Mbappe. What are the stats look like, though? Before that, we were in the Conference League with Newcastle United. So, top the group, round of 16, we took down Sporting 3-2. Ronaldo's former team. Quarterfinals took down Gank, and then semis would take down Fenerbahce, and we're in the Conference League Final, which is against Feyenoord. A chance for Ronaldo to win another European trophy. And he's had a very respectable season, I think. 23 goals in 51 games. Obviously not 40 years old, playing Robin to the Ballon d'Or winner Mbappe with 41 and 15. Still, though, 23 goals in England at 40 years old is insane. Ronaldo's on his way to saving the end of his career. And if we could win this European trophy, it would definitely help that a lot. Ronaldo leads Newcastle out in a European Cup final. All right, first chance for Newcastle, Ronaldo to Mbappe. Mbappe turns. Can Mbappe flip it to Ronaldo? Can he? He's going to try to Mbappe and Ronaldo almost combine there. You can see the chemistry. Now, this is a corner. We know Ronaldo and Mbappe are decent at corners. Mbappe almost climbed for that one. Dumadas into Keelan Mbappe, and he, he actually misses? Okay, 73rd minute. I don't have a penalty. Nick Pope has to try and save Ronaldo's European trophy. He's going to go right. Nick Pope makes a save. And this game is still nil-nil. Okay, this is going to a penalty shootout. Teams cannot separate themselves. And Mbappe was taken off with an injury. So Mbappe is off the field. Ronaldo is still on though. Oh man, this is for a European trophy for Ronaldo. Jimenez, he's going to go right and... They score first. Ronaldo taking the first penalty for Newcastle. Top right into the back of the net. All right, now it's up to Ronaldo's teammates. I think he's going to go. He's going to go left. Okay, you got to make this even. Bruno Guimaraes. We're going to go left, and the keeper makes the save. Third penalty. He's going to go right. Nick Pope makes a save. Come on, boys. Do it for Ronaldo. Do it for Ronaldo. This is all tied up. Nick Pope, I need you to make a save. I thought it was going left. Keep us alive keep the team the hopes alive we do come on we need to save this one we need to save this one he's gonna go right nick pope makes the save joe linton if we score this ronaldo wins another european cup joe linton i believe in you i believe in you with everything joe linton keeper doesn't even move and newcastle win the conference league so close to losing it but ronaldo wins another european trophy so in a season where ronaldo mbappe led newcastle to third qualified for the champions league and then also won a european trophy in the conference league i would say ronaldo is definitely on his way back to the top from al nasser back to the premier league and now european conference league champions for ronaldo and newcastle united we are gearing up towards that 2026 world cup it was a great year we got one more season though can ronaldo keep this up so he could play portugal in that world cup all right season four ronaldo is back in the Champions League. And Newcastle have made two more signings. They got Callum hudson Doyle from Chelsea and also Matty Cash from Villa. So this is the team for season four. Honestly, I'm not sure what to expect. We just hope Ronaldo can play good enough to where he gets picked for the World Cup picked by Portugal. That's the main goal here. All right, now 2025 Ballon d'Or. I feel like it's going to be a bop again. No, it's actually Holland again. Yeah, I think Ronaldo winning another Ballon d'Or is out of the question. Even though he's played well, I just don't think it's happening. All right, end of season four now. In season four, they are going to be, okay, they're top four again. This time, did they lead them to the league title or the Premier League title? 
fourth is going to be Manchester City. Third is going to be Spurs. They're either champions or second place. Champions of the Premier League are going to be, it is going to be Newcastle United. Ronaldo Mbappe just led Newcastle to a Prem title. That is nuts. Now, Champions League. They top their group. Round of 16. They have taken down Juventus 3-2. Quarterfinals. Newcastle take down Leverkusen 3-2. Ronaldo Mbappe, Newcastle in the semis. And they are going, oh, they're going to be knocked out by PSG 5-3. Was that the last time we ever see Ronaldo versus Messi? Messi beats Ronaldo in the Champions League? Oh, man. And then PSG go on to win the Champions League. Man, that is heartbreaking. But final stats, Ronaldo scored 16 goals in 47 matches. I mean, 16 goals in the Prem, that is still a such a respectable scoreline. At age now 41 years old. So couldn't get to the Champions League final, but they just won the Premier League. That is more than enough for Portugal to pick Ronaldo again to play in the World Cup. So 2026 World Cup, Ronaldo's final chance to win Portugal a World Cup. Okay, this Portugal team is insane. Ronaldo up top, Leao on the left, Bernardo Silva at Cam, João Felix on the right wing, Bruno Fernandes, Vitinha, Mendes, Diaz, and Asio, and then Cancelo right back, and then Costa in goal. Just one final change. Captain's arm band going to Cristiano Ronaldo in his final World Cup. This team is good enough to win it all, which would be the ultimate end, the ultimate send-off for Ronaldo in his career. 2026 World Cup starts now. And right there, there is Portugal's group in the World Cup. I mean, Italy's strong team, but we should get through this uh, pretty simple here, I think. So game number one, Portugal, New Zealand. This one is going to be 2-1. Nuno Mendes and Leao score. Ronaldo did not score in game number one. Game number two, Portugal, Scotland. This one is going to be 3-1. Vitinha, Ronaldo scores his first goal at the World Cup and also Leao scores. So two wins, Ronaldo gets his first goal. All right, final game, Portugal versus Italy. This one is going to be Italy winning 3-0. Okay, Portugal, so two wins and one pretty big loss. Where does that put them in the group? Okay, they finished second in the group, so they stay alive. Into the knockout stage. And round of 16, it is Portugal versus Argentina. This early, we got Ronaldo versus Messi. If Messi's still playing. Okay, Messi not in the starting 11. Has Messi retired? Messi's not retired yet. He's still 39 years old, and he's he's actually a free agent. So I think he's on the bench. I don't think he's starting in this game. But oh man, this is to reach the quarterfinals. It is going to be Portugal 2-1 over Argentina. Mendes and Leao score. So the young guns of Portugal knock out the, the holders, the past winners of the World Cup. Quarterfinals, it's Portugal versus Germany. They got Adiemi starting up top. This one is going to be, it is going to be 2-1. Bruno Fernandes and Rafael Leao again. And Portugal are through to the World Cup semis. And Ronaldo actually ended his career by winning the 2026 World Cup. Oh man, France are already in the final. And it is Portugal, Mexico. So Portugal, Ronaldo, the heavy favorites in the semifinal right here. This is to have maybe a Ronaldo versus Mbappe World Cup final. This game is going to be, it's going to be 3-1. Rafael Leao scores two. Bernardo Silva scores one. Ronaldo has helped lead Portugal to the 2026 World Cup final. One final chance, Portugal versus France. This is the third World Cup final in a row for this France squad. But if Ronaldo can win this final, he would equal Messi in terms of World Cup trophies, which would be like the definition of any career on top. Can Cristiano Ronaldo do it? From Manchester United all the way to uh, Al Nasser in Saudi Arabia now. Came back to England, came back to Newcastle, and he leads out Portugal in the 2026 World Cup final. This is it. World Cup final. Mbappe is not going to want to lose two World Cup finals in a row. That's a bad pass, though. Oh, what a what an interception, though. This is about to be just nuts. Ronaldo Silva is waiting for Ronaldo's run, waiting for it. Finds Ronaldo, but it's also good defending. Okay, they got a free kick. That is very dangerous, but it's also good clearance. Silva. Ronaldo plays it to João Felix, and that is goal number one. Ronaldo gets the assist that puts Portugal up 1-0. I mean, Ronaldo, he knows he's, he's like 41 years old. He knows he can't do it all himself. He needs like these young guns of this Portugal squad, and João Felix is one of them. 1-0 in the 24th minute. You know, that's a great bottle, Ronaldo Silva. We got space here a little bit. Tinha finds Ronaldo Silva. Ronaldo is he on side. Man, France are shutting down Ronaldo. He doesn't have the pace anymore. Oh, now that's a great ball. It's going to be Diaby in for PSG. Tackle. Good save by the keeper. Oh, man. I thought that was tie game. All right, second half begins. Portugal with a slim 1-0 lead. Bruno, come on, swing it. Can we find Ronaldo? He's not the main man anymore. Rafael Leal was probably the main man, and he got tackled there. That is a very good cross in. Oh, keeper Costa, what a save. Prevents an equalizer right there. Oh, man, ball into the box, but Ruben Diaz, solid defending again. Oh, man, France knocking on the door. Diaz, good positioning again, though. We got 20 minutes, still a slim 1-0 lead. And France attack has died down a bit. No early chances for them. As soon as you say that, chance for France. Oh, Ruben Diaz is defending with his life right now. Ronaldo, he has chance. Ronaldo. Plays it to Jao Felix into Ronaldo. Turns. Oh, what a save. Denies Ronaldo a goal in a World Cup final. We only got four minutes, though. Oh, man. France has one more attack, it seems. One more attack. And they got numbers. Mbappe is running. Is he going to try to find Mbappe? 
He is. Oh, what the defending by Nuno Mendes. That defending wins Portugal the World Cup right there. Denies that chance. Oh, man. France get a golden chance at the end, but they don't get it right. So, Ronaldo doesn't get a goal, but he got an assist on the goal that wins Portugal the World Cup. I mean, age 41. What more can you expect out of a player like that? It truly was the young guns like Felix and Leao that won Portugal's World Cup. But they were led by the leadership, the experience of a legend in the final year of his career. Cristiano Ronaldo lifts the World Cup trophy for Portugal. I mean, I would say Ronaldo just saved the end of his career completely by winning this World Cup, equaling Messi. So Al Nasser to Newcastle, winning the Conference League, then winning the Prem, and now winning the World Cup with Portugal. I mean, that right there is a recovery for Ronaldo. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, hit that sub button down below as well, and I will catch you guys in the next video.